but I need to hold that concentration. And I know how hard it's going to be when I get to that session. I know I'm gonna be there like, oh, I'm so tired. I just need to refocus and go, all right, this is what we need to do. Scott on 1020. I hope you're all super well. I am actually so stoked. I got my SIM card working for my phone, so now I have some decent internet and I can also play some PlayStation if I'd like. But again, from yesterday's video, I said the most important thing with jet lag is that if you want to get things done, make sure you get them done in the morning. So my room, I haven't cleaned it up since last night, obviously, but I kind of woke up, I just had breakfast, so that's my next job, clean up all this. I just brushed my teeth as well. So now I need to get on to cleaning up all this mess, cleaning up my room. I want to be in the mindset that I'm going to sign so that I go to trainings confidently. If I do sign, I'll most likely stay at this place because I get a pretty good deal with the pricing. So I want to have that mindset that I am going to stay here and then that will put me in a good mindset for trainings and then the game on Tuesday, which is probably the most important thing. Now that game won't be filmed, obviously. I, number one, I don't have anyone to film it. And number two, I don't really want to film a trial game for a team that I'm trialing for. Again, football always comes before YouTube. It's There's no questions asked. So I'm sorry there'll be no footage of that on Tuesday, but I'll still give you the complete rundown. Anyway, time to clean up the room. <coughs> Bang. It's all sorted. That's my dirty clothes bag. We got a tripod there. That's some rubbish that needs to go. Look at this, floor's looking good. This is, I don't need to use this thing, so that doesn't matter. I know everything that's in there. I have a nice walking space. Got my computer, PS4, flat ball, and then uh, all the clothes are in there. Oh, and then in this wardrobe is just, you know, we got your step socks, your undies and socks and clothes and jackets up there, boots and stuff down there. So it's all sorted. I'm happy with that now. I got a nice little living area. Right, so I just went to the grocery store to Morrison's with the person that I'm staying with. I picked up a fair bit of food. We got a lot of chicken in there that I'll make. I also got some uh, gnocchi or oh, ganache for the OGs. Uh, I got some tortellini. I know this stuff isn't the best, but that's kind of like emergency food along with this sort of emergency fish. We live kind of far from any grocery store, so I want to make sure that, look, if I don't have any food or for whatever reason, I have something that I can eat. Right now, for me, when I'm trying to put on weight, something is always better than nothing, man. Now, I'm not saying go and eat KFC every day, but I need to be consuming food. So this is my lunch, just simple. Yesterday's dinner, which is the pasta bolognese. And yeah, man, all stocked up. So I've come downstairs. This is like the main living area through here. And then if you go through this door, this is supposed to be a garage, but she built it into a gym, thank goodness. So this is my plan. Damn, I'm rocking some straight fire right now. <laughs> we got the slippers. I have to get out of these warm slippers and get into some joggers. But because of the jet lag and because of the training schedule and how important everything is, my gym work and everything else, it's a little bit off right now. Hopefully, if I find out by this team by Tuesday next week, which I should, we will get into a sort of proper training routine where I'll be doing a lot more weights, a lot more training, and I'll just be a lot more organized. So today, it's just gonna be light. We'll just jump on the exercise bike. We'll probably do that for about 10 minutes to get the legs going again. Maybe some sort of like split lunges or something thing and then a little bit of core and a tiny bit of upper body like it's gonna be super light man again once we find out from this which should be next tuesday then we should have something really in place but gym workout time
Feeling good after that little workout. Wasn't too tough, wasn't too easy. Exactly how I wanted it, which is perfect. Now before I was thinking like, how can I use this exercise bike to get, you know, that top heart rate zone? I spoke about it in yesterday's video. And I thought to myself, I'd probably just search something up on Google. There'll be a ton of people who put stuff online of, you know, bike workouts for footballers. But then I remembered at Crawley, I used to do a bike workout with Jay. So, maybe not tomorrow, but the next day, I'll look that up on YouTube, find my video, and then just copy that exact workout, because I got that off the physio at Crowley Town, and she said, I'm just gonna make sure I got everything. Yeah, she said that this was a workout that a lot of the footballers were doing at Crowley Town, a professional league one club at the time, I believe. So, I'll literally just copy that and do it do it myself. Because I remember I just got Instagram messages of people saying, Sheldon, what was that workout you did at Crawley with the bike? And I'm like, I don't know, man, just search it up. That's the beauty of YouTube. I document all of this for you guys and then for myself so that when I forget, I can just go have a quick look. It'll require a little bit of digging, but I think I should be able to find it. Anyway, that's something to look forward to. Not tomorrow, but the next day. Hey girls, you sleeping? Hello, oh, sorry. Hello, aren't you just so cute? I think I like this one more because she likes to be, oh, don't growl at me. You're a good dog. <laughs> I'm rugged up for training, I'm ready to go. I got my neck warmer on, I got my Wanderers jacket, I got skins on, so I got long skins underneath. My track is just for walking to training because I'm going to try and keep my feet a little bit warmer, which is definitely going to be tough because last session, man, my feet were freezing. So like the whole session, I could barely feel my toes until the very end. So that's kind of my tactic for today. We'll see how it works out. So then I got the long skins, shorts, and then my step socks, of course. Absolute best on the market. Link in the description if you want to pick up those. But yeah, time to head off to training, man. I got to go there. I got to kill it. I'm feeling better with jet lag. I'm not feeling as tired. I think it will hit me a little bit towards the end of the session, but I'm just gonna do my best to keep focus. Keep focus, Sean, and that's the main thing because I know I have the ability to perform. I know I have the skills. And that's fine, but I need to hold that concentration. And I know how hard it's going to be when I get to that session. I know I'm gonna be there like, oh, I'm so tired. I just need to refocus and go, all right, this is what we need to do. I've been doing a little bit of meditation as well. I signed up for Headspace, I believe it is. And that's kind of helped a little bit. I've only done three sessions, so I'll keep you guys up to date with that, but whew, let's do it, man. This is the park that I get to walk through at like 10 o'clock at night. It's, and it's way darker. Oh, last time I jogged home, man. So it's actually a bit warmer tonight. It's not exactly warm, but it's not exactly cold. Still got this on, keeping myself warm. Feet are feeling good and my hands aren't too cold. So that's great news. Hopefully I'll be able to go out there and enjoy the session without freezing me bum off. Anyway, looking forward to getting out on that pitch, man. I'm excited. It's what I waited for the last uh, 48 hours. So I have just arrived, no one's in the showers, no one's here. It's 10 minutes until training starts, so I'm a little bit worried. Remember that time in Spain when training got called off and I never knew about it? That may be the same case today. I just assumed training was on, which is fine. It's just gonna be really frustrating if it's off. Oh. I'm gonna give it till 7.25, then I'll message the manager, see if he messages back. I don't know, I heard 7.30 tonight here. See what happens, man. Training was on. Decent night for a man. <sighs> Wasn't too cold either. And look who's waiting for me. Oh no. Okay, I've had time to kind of chill out. I had some dinner. I had the pasta bolognese again. I also had a shower and now I'm about to head off to bed because I am so tired. The rundown of the session. So we started off with a warm up as per usual. And then we kind of split up into two groups, did a little bit of possession, did a little bit of shooting, crossing. I was in the possession drill and for myself, I think I did okay. I made a couple of really nice passes. A couple of guys were like, great pass, Sheldon. So that was good. And then from there, we pretty much just went into some tactical stuff, which I won't really get into, but I will say that 
I got on the ball a couple of times and I didn't lose the ball once from memory. And that didn't mean I was playing safe balls either. I took a couple of guys on, I was having some really nice touches, beating players with my first touch and my body movement when I received it. I remember one of them, I got played the ball. I was not super close to the sideline, but there was a guy behind me. I just faked out like this, opened up and then chopped it with my right foot back the other way. And that allowed me to then take my space. I played some guy kind of through and then he finished first time and it was into the goal which didn't have the keeper so we just got a point so that was good and then again I was worked on the other team as well and I had some really nice passages of play so it's all going well man I think I'm definitely performing but you know I have to be what the coach is looking for and that's it's not out of my hands man I always say this like the only thing you can control and the only thing you should focus on is your performances. And that's all I'm focused on. If the coach isn't looking for a player like me, that's completely fine. I get it. But hey, I know I'm leaving it all out on the pitch and that's what matters. I'm loving my football, man. I'm loving being out on that field. I'll tell you that for sure. So I'm going off to bed next Tuesday. It's the big day. It is a huge day. But Team 20, I'm signing out. Make sure you like and subscribe. Enjoy your